Finally, they revealed death and it was so hard. Yes, yeah, sure, everyone knew it was coming, but they finally revealed Rio at the end of episode seven with the amount of teases and references to death. Finally, they dropped it at the end of last week's episode. And it was so hard. And instantly people think, yo, if Lady Death is in it, yo, where is Thanos? And interesting enough, the Russo brothers recently had a meeting with not only Josh Brolin, who played Thanos back in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, but they also had a meeting with Robert Downey Jr. at the same time, who's playing Doctor Doom. They're getting the old band together. And the Russo brothers literally put Doom and Thanos walk into the Lincoln Center. Interesting. We've all heard the rumors. Well, it's not really rumors. They're literally making a King Thanos ride in Disneyland in America. So how do they maximize this? By introducing King Thanos into the MCU in a multiversal storyline. Now, I know it doesn't seem like we're in one because there's literally been hardly any incursions, but at some point, there's going to have to be a multiversal Thanos appearance. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless having King Thanos there. So, yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? Watch here if you are new around here. Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel, DC, Kaiju, Monsterverse, pop culture based content that I try to deliver on a daily basis. If you could, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know down below is Marvel cooking something with Lady Death? Is she going to reappear? Well, she ain't going to die in Agatha or along. That's for sure. We all know this storyline is to do with Billy finding Tommy and Wanda reappearing at some point, seeing as Wanda is supposed to be the love interest of Doctor Doom. Even though Wanda's been decimated in Multiverse of Madness, we all know Wanda isn't dead. She's just, you know, doing something, and Marvel keeps teasing her. Even in Agatha or along, the most recent episode, is Wanda really dead? Yeah. No, maybe. They're literally, the writers are literally putting it in your face. So if we're going to get Wanda, King Thanos, Doctor Doom in the same storyline, that is going to be sick. Hell, throw Deadpool in it. Deadpool's got a plethora of backstories in the comics with Lady Death. This is Marvel. Marvel does not follow the comic books. And this is why I find it funny when DC and Marvel fans always go on about the comics. If this was the case, Adam Warlock should have appeared in the Infinity Saga, but he didn't. So... If you could, follow us on Instagram at WarsJu to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. And follow us on Twitter at WarsJuG. Right, and let's get into this. So, multiple websites have picked up a story, which is really old because, as we said in the prologue, the King Thanos ride is being made at Disneyland. So, obviously, King Thanos, they're in a multiversal saga. And there's recent rumors, which really aren't recent, about two years old. But they've re-emerged now because a popular industry Twitter person has said something recently. And it's like, oh, does that mean that King Thanos is going to appear in the finale of Agatha all along? Find out this week. It's kind of funny, though. It is kind of funny because the showrunners have literally said there's no connection between death and Thanos in Agatha all along. Thanos stands out there. I have no answers for you. Well, the first comment, Marvel never follows the comics, so that's no surprise. Well, it's not. Why introduce Lady Death now? Lady Death could, should, have been introduced in the Infinity Saga. Now, I'm not saying she's going to be in the Agatha for a long finale, but there ain't any rumors about him appearing in it, so it would be pretty cool. And they are in a multiverse saga. I know it's hard to believe because... There's literally been no incursions anywhere. I don't know how we're going to get to Battle World if there's literally, there has to be an incursion that happens. I mean, Doctor Strange, Mighty Force Madness, they peace at the end of it, Clea and Doctor Strange, because of the incursions, and it looked like it went to Dark Dimension because the aesthetics looked like that, the Dark Dimension where Dharmamu was. But, I mean, Doctor Strange 3 needs to be made, but that's a completely different story. So there's an article here, and it goes over a lot of stuff. Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars are shaping up to be a massive MCU event, and the latter in particular could easily wind up being the most ambitious superhero movie ever made. Um, shaping up to be a massive event, but what, based on nothing? We, I mean, Doctor Doom, sure, they brought Robert Downey Jr. back for literally fan service and because people love him. I still think Killian Murphy, Mr. Peaky Blinders, Mr. Oppenheimer, Mr. Oscar, Mr. Best Actor in the Oscar category should be the overall Doctor Doom. I really hope that's the case. So it goes on to say here, of course we know Robert Downey Jr. will be back, but as Doctor Doom, we may or may not turn out to be a Tony Stark variant. They're going to play on that massively. They, they really are. But there's so much they could literally do with that. 
they could do the Spider-Man storyline where Doctor Doom be like, yo, I can give you your friends back. I can make you remember. I can withdraw the spell. There's so much I can do there. So just in case Secret Wars wasn't already sounding way too jam-packed, we recently reported that Thanos may end up showing up as some scooper is now claiming to have confirmed that Josh Brolin is in talks to reprise his role as the Mad Titan. Well, this isn't actually new because Josh Brolin said this last year that he kind of had conversations about returning. So... Yeah, I do believe Secret Wars will be a literal montage of every character we've ever seen playing a different variant. There's even rumors of Chris Evans returning as Hydra, there's Scarlett Johansson returning as some evil version of Black Widow. But whether this happens or not, we don't particularly know. So it is interesting how Marvel has gone running back to Joe and Anthony Russo that are very good in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't particularly think their work is very good outside of the MCU, respectfully. And they said this, being able to create stories and explore characters within the Marvel Universe fulfilled a lifelong dream of ours. We discovered a powerful connection with the audience in each film that we made. We're thrilled to collaborate once again with Kevin, Lou, and the entire Marvel team behind the epic adventure in the storytelling to new and surprising place for the fans and ourselves. That's what they said back at San Diego Comic-Con back in July. But the interesting thing is, there is literally no setup. And people keep saying, yeah, this is because of the whole saga that is the Jonathan Majors, Kang the Conqueror. It's got nothing to do with that, really. We're in a multiverse saga, and there's literally been little to no incursions. So... Are they bringing King Thanos back? Yeah, it looks that way. But they're not really bringing back. It's a multiversal version of him. So the rumor is that Doctor Doom is going to have minions, if you like, like Thanos had the Black Order. But it's it's the people that allegedly are coming through. Like, apparently, Null is going to be Doctor Doom minion. Null is literally a multiversal threat by himself. Null body the celestial. Null can body literally a lot of powerful Marvel characters and then it's like Ultron's reappearing King Thanos is going to have a big part but if that's the case they should have Josh Brolin King Thanos teased in the finale of Agatha all along why because Lady Death connection it literally makes sense as soon as the epic revealed happened to people that didn't already know this was coming people were like yo they need to get Lady Death and Deadpool in the scene there's already rumors of Deadpool 4 literally being Deadpool and Lady Death. There needs to be a scene with Lady Death, Deadpool, and a variant of King Thanos. Why? Because if they just do the let's resurrect Thanos, that would be complete BS. I know we're in a multiversal saga, but we're not actually in a multiversal saga because there's been no multiversal consequences outside of Doctor Strange 2 and Spider-Man No Way Home. But let's be honest, the only ramification of that was a spell, and the spell's clearly going to be broken pretty easily. They're probably going to use Doctor Doom to do it, and Doctor Doom be like, yo, I can help you if you help me kind of scenario. It's going to be very interesting, but King Thanos appearing for the first time will be interesting because Doctor Doom is clearly going to be the overall villain of Avengers 5 and 6. But what's the point of bringing King Thanos through if he's not going to have a pinnacle part the same with allegedly null the same with ultron the same with the evil avengers and all this kind of stuff it's very interesting there's that many rumors going around it's hard to believe what to believe because robert down jr is getting paid a hell of a lot of money everyone if to get josh brolin back he would get paid a hell of a lot of money the same with you know everyone basically Everyone's getting a big payday. Tom Holland signed a new contract for Spider-Man 4 and a bunch of other movies. He's definitely getting a lot of money. So they can't sideline anyone, but we, we do understand Doctor Doom storyline in Avengers Doomsday will essentially be mostly an origin story. Unless the rumors are true that RDJ is shooting a bunch of Fantastic Four, but seeing as they're shooting in England, surely, I mean, yes, he can green screen it from anywhere in the world, but surely he'd prefer to be on set if he is going to interact with the likes of Reed Rich and Sue Storm, so on and so forth. It's going to be very interesting. Now Lady Death is literally in the MCU. I very much hope King Thanos' rumor is true, but it, it ain't really a new rumor. We've done a video on it, I think maybe a year, maybe two years ago. So the King Thanos, when Kevin Feige revealed it at a D23, many, many months ago, if not years ago. It's not new, it's just the multiverse saga. It gives them an opportunity to literally bring anyone back and just have the story make freaking sense. So like always, guys, let us know. Is King Thanos going to appear in the finale of Agatha all along? Now, I know you Wanda fans and stands want Wanda to appear, but sorry, lads and ladettes, Wanda, as far as I'm aware, is not going to appear. How it could end, potentially, 
careful of spoilers, is Billy wants to find Tommy, and then when he's found Tommy, they both want to do some variation of the, the, the Cape Crusade, where they all go looking for Wanda, basically. Maybe. Because this is how some people seem to think it's going to end, is her consciousness is alive somewhere, and it's just got to go back into a body, but... It's going to have to be one the same body, so I don't know if I believe that. But it's interesting either way. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarsG. Check us out on Twitter at WarsG. I'm going to catch you on another video, guys. Very soon. Catch you later. <laughs>